Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video. This is the third video on this crazy PTR patch. There's been some super secret things that aren't in the patch notes that make a big difference to Moira. And there's also some other slight tweaks that they've done that were not announced in the PTR patch notes. So yes, originally I missed the May thing and Frido covered that up for me. And yes, I made a mistake. But these are legit. And this is a serious change to Moira. So first of all, Mark All as Red is now a thing in the skins menu, so you no longer have to go through every single thing and click it individually, which is really good for me because we're thinking about starting our stream up and I remember our viewers hated it when I had all of my things saying new. So when this PTR patch goes through, you no longer have to do that. You'll be able to mark them all as red. And also, a buff to Moira's fingernails. Her fingernails now go from yellow to gold, a very subtle change, but they look really nice nice when you have the golden weapon equipped. So there you go, she has golden fingernails on one hand, the other hand she does not, but it looks a lot better than it did before. Now, if we get into the actual meat of things, Moira's seriously had a nerf to her tracking and soft lock on the aim of her main damage beam. It's not just a little bit either, I don't know if like half is the right word, but you have to be considerably closer now in order to lock your beam onto someone to do damage. And the thing is, this has weird values at different ranges. So if you got really close to Moira before, you could like lock on all the time. Whereas now, if you're right up close with Moira, you have to be tracking the target almost perfectly. Now there is a little bit of leeway, there's a little bit of hitbox difference and probably similar to what a lot of hit scans are, but you have to be quite close to the hitboxes now in order to lock onto them. Now I think the reason for this is probably similar to Doomfist's hitbox when it was initially a little bit too big and it's more of a quality of life bug fix that also equals a net nerf to her lock on capability because she heals herself when she does this damage I think it was too easy for her to just kind of track someone and always get health whereas someone like a McCree or a Tracer or whoever has got to keep on that tracking on the Moira perfectly and they don't regain health so even though her damage isn't very high the sustain that she has through the healing is awesome and being able to maintain that now is a little bit harder and when I say a little bit honestly it's quite a lot more difficult smaller targets are going to make a big difference if you think about what it's like against a training bot imagine it in game it's going to be a massive difference to her and make her much more mechanically demanding it still has a soft lock but it's even softer than it was before now finally there were some other bug fixes and stuff which I kind of spoke about in another video but there's a few Moira specific ones so they've fixed many visual bugs with Moira so ones with her biotic orb ones where her eyelashes detached from her face which I'm glad they fixed because I'm sure that's pretty creepy and other things along them lines with skins and stuff so visual stuff and hitbox is the change they've made but changes to hitboxes make all the difference as we know with Doomfist so whether this will go through whether they'll revert it or go halfway I'm not sure but they don't usually go back on their PTR changes so let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below this is a very unexpected change and one that they didn't actually announce in the patch notes so let us know what you think be sure to drop a like guys as it really does help us out and I promise I'll get the next video right when I do it be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when our videos go live and be sure to have a great day as always take care and peace people